What's up guys? This is Sirhan and this is how I detail my engine. So why do you detail an engine? Well, besides the obvious that you want it to look nice when you pop the hood, there's other advantages of detailing your engine. It's easier to maintain, easier to detect leaks, and most importantly, which is kind of overlooked, I think a clean engine runs better. Something about the dust and the grease that covers the engine block, I think it kind of acts like an insulator, so it kind of makes the engine run warmer than it would, what it should be. So that's a, a benefit of keeping the engine nice and clean. So the model that I'm going to be working on today is a Porsche 5.5 V8 turbo engine from my Cayenne. Uh, so I'll show you how that car looks, how the engine looks, and I'll show you how it looks after. And to do this detail, I am not going to use any pressure washer. I generally don't like using pressure washers around the engine. And no degreasers, just soap, water, brushes, and some elbow grease. And you'll get some amazing results. Okay, so let's get to it. Now the thing with Porsche is they cover up a lot of the engine compartment with these plastic panels all the way around. But looking at my engine pretty clean, the only reason why it looks so dirty is because I've been off-roading recently, so there's a lot of dust. Basically that's all it is. Mostly dust. Uh, I, I don't see any leaks. No oil. Uh, so that's good. This area looks pretty bad here. I think this is just wax and polish that needs to get removed like I said uh, really no leaks or grease to worry about on this particular engine okay before I start first thing I always do I cover up the engine with some plastic uh, this way when I start cleaning underneath the hood none of that dirt drips down onto the engine so the engine will be nice and dry when I go ahead and start detailing so do that and on to the next step okay so when it comes to detailing your engine it's the same principle as when you detail your car you always start from the top top and work towards the bottom so first thing I do start with underneath the hood and for this job all that I'm going to use is soap and water this is in a bottle with a foam trigger I know a lot of people use degreaser. I don't like to use degreaser. I don't like the fumes. It's harsh. If you can get a, a detail that's just as good using soap, which is less harmful, less aggressive than degreaser, why not? And the soap that I'm using is basically just turtle wax. It's really cheap. Uh, warm water, foam trigger, and I'm going to start by foaming the underneath and just brushing it all off. So I just like to spray everywhere, get that foam, soapy water everywhere, let it dwell a little bit. And just take your brush, just agitate. There we go. And it was just soap and water like, and some uh, elbow grease, this dust and the brie, it just comes right off. Like you don't need a degreaser at all. Always start with the least aggressive method. If that doesn't work, then you can use a degreaser, but the soap and water just works absolutely fine. And continue working your way around the vehicle. Just spray. Okay, next, what I'm gonna do now is just give it a quick rinse, just to get all that dirt and uh, contaminants off underneath the uh, hood. So just a little bit of water, don't need much. And this is why that plastic cover comes in handy because uh, look at all that dirt right there. Okay, I'm going to leave that plastic cover on top of the engine and continue working on the outside of the vehicle. Again, soapy water with a foam trigger, spray, 
and agitate with a brush. So continue uh, working on this side. Once we're done here, I'll go over the other side. And this is all you need to do, just, just agitate. See, this way I don't have to worry about any of the dirt uh, going onto the engine because it's protected with that plastic sheet right there. So yeah, don't forget the outside of the hood. Okay, now I'm just going to continue to the other side, same thing. And spray as much of this as you can because like I said, it's just soap, it's not going to damage anything. Okay, now, now I'm going to work my way towards the front of the engine. And this engine bay looks so much better already. You can just tell it's a lot cleaner. engine bay was fairly clean to begin with, like it was really dusty and if it was full of mud, like caked on mud, I'd maybe cons probably use a degreaser but for, for this purpose, uh, soap and water is more than sufficient. Okay, so now that I've done agitating the surroundings with a brush and underneath the hood, I've, I've done that, I've rinsed the hood. Next thing I'm going to do is just rinse all of this off. Get all of that dirt and debris off. Here we go, same thing, just very light pressure. That's it. Okay, now that I've cleaned out the area outside of the engine block. I can go ahead and remove this cover. Carefully trying to contain all the dirty water as well. Just like this. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's just dirty water, which we don't need on the engine. So get rid of that. Okay. Now we can focus on the engine. Okay, for the engine, same thing. We're gonna foam, then brush. Only difference is we may use different types of brushes to reach all the nicks and crannies and crevices that you'll find in the engine bay. So some of the tools that I'll be using, some of the brushes I should say is something like this, something like this, something to get into like those tight spots. But I find what I use most often is my, uh, my brush. So go ahead. Foam it up. If you have an oil leak, if there's some oil on your engine and you can't get it off, it's just soap and water. Um, maybe go ahead and try putting a little bit of uh, degreaser on, but uh, this soap and water should work just fine.
Okay, so I finished scrubbing down the entire engine. Uh, the issue that I'm having right now is that it's extremely hot here in the garage and this water is evaporating a lot faster than it normally would. It's literally 35 degrees Celsius in my garage, which is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a quick rinse. Get all that dirt. Again, just low pressure is all you need. Alright, this nozzle isn't the best. Apologize for that. Okay, give it a nice rinse. And wow, that looks really clean already. Very nice. Okay. Okay, next I'm gonna remove this intake cover just to clean underneath. This one just pops right off. That one doesn't look too bad. Now I would never uh, power wash this, but just spraying it with a little bit of soapy water, uh, which you know won't cause any problems. And by removing that panel, you have a little bit more access into these compartments that you normally couldn't reach. So go ahead and just get your brush in there, get as much off as you can. I'm being very gentle with the wiring around here. Now whenever I remove panels from the engine bay, like for example this intake cover that I just removed, I always like to give it a good cleaning. Not just around the sides, but underneath as well. You know, I, it's, it's all about those little details. You know, I know nobody's going to ever look underneath this cover, but for me, I just like the idea of having this you know, as clean as possible, so I'll just go ahead. Give it a real good. Okay, this intake is a little bit more stubborn than what I thought. I tried using soap and water. It gets it off, but it's extremely slow. So what I'm going to do before I use degreaser, I'm just going to try some non-acetic wheel cleaner. Uh, this oil is like caked on. So I'm just going to spray it. Let it sit for a bit. And I'm just doing this in my sink in my garage because uh, I don't want to you know, wash this over the engine. But you can see there's a bit of caked on oil and grease. So, so let's see if the, the wheel cleaner gets it off. If the wheel cleaner doesn't get it off, then I'll move on to the next aggressive option, which would be the degreaser. But let's just see if this works. And uh, yeah, it's... It's coming off pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I bet just running some hot water will get the remaining residue off. Okay, that looks pretty clean. A uh, lot cleaner than uh, before. Okay, now we'll just try some hot water. And hopefully this thing will look like new. And this wheel cleaner is not even that aggressive. I mean, it's diluted, I think, 10 to one. So it's pretty mild. But it's getting the job done. Slowly but surely, it's getting the job done. You know, the thing with the greasers, you always run the risk of uh, causing damage to the panel, especially on plastic. Uh, with this, you know, I got away with just some wheel cleaner, hot water, and that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the intake cover back on. Perfect, okay. Okay, next I'm gonna remove this panel right here. 
Now this panel covers the uh, power steering fluid and my connections for the battery. It looks a little dirty in there, so I'm gonna go ahead, spray a little bit. And just activate. Inside looks fairly clean. I'll just give it a quick clean as well. Okay, go ahead and rinse this in the sink. Alright, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to dry off the entire engine and underneath the hood. And I like to use a master sidekick. I think it's perfect for this job. It's light, very powerful. So here we go. Okay, so I finished rinsing the car, uh, I should say the engine bay, and it looks a lot cleaner. All the dust is gone, it's clean. It looks a little faded out, so to address that, all we need now is apply some dressing. And now to address the engine bay, I just used some uh, plastic restorer. It's labeled tire gel. I actually use this on my wheel wells, but I just put that plastic restore in a plastic bottle, add some water and I just use this. I basically use this to spray the wheel well so I can get it nice and dark and I find it works very well in the engine bay as well. I just spray all these panels, these plastic panels all the way. And a couple of tools that I find really handy is a brush like this. Just go ahead, apply it liberally everywhere. So this will not only look, make it look like nice and shiny, but it protects the plastic, it conditions it, it won't make it so brittle, uh, and it gives it a really nice shine too. And the brush works really well on these intake tubes as well, so you can get in all these tight crevices. Work this in all the panels. Don't forget these ones in the far back. And the trim that goes around the windshield on the base here, I get that. Get as much of the plastic as you can with this. Okay, okay so now that I've applied the dressing throughout the engine bay, I'm just gonna take a microfiber cloth and just wipe off the excess. And this is gonna leave a nice, kind of a matte, Semi shine type of gloss. Now it's not going to be too shiny. It's going to look basically like how it came from the factory. All right, now the last thing I'm going to do is just clean off the metal components of the engine bay. So under the hood, uh, any metal around the engine. And for that, just use some simple 
detail spray. Just spray and wipe. That's it. Okay, here's the finished product. Everything is dressed. It's been dried. And here's the final product. So, very clean. Everything's been dressed. It's got a nice matte finish. It's not greasy. Like if you use Armor All, that stuff is greasy and all the dirt is just going to stick to the plastic. So it looks nice and clean. It's got a little bit of a sheen, but it's not greasy. Engine compartment all clean as well as under the hood nice and clean like you can see the reflection like it's very clean there as well and that only took one hour and I didn't use a pressure washer no degreaser just soap water some brushes elbow grease and that's literally all that you need Again, okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, leave comments, and I will get back to you next time, guys. Thanks.